In our previous example about counting the likes of a tweet, we said we would make updates to the field only once a day, maybe using an automatic process. However, in real-world applications, updates to the likes field can happen at any time. Thus, it's probable that two users will attempt to hit the like button on the same tweet at the same time, which will potentially result in missing one of the updates. Since both users read the same current version value, which is 10, and then try to add one to it, the final results after both updates will be 11 instead of 12. Of course, we could implement some heavy process that requires the clients to explicitly lock on a document before sending an update to the likes field. However, that would slow the system down considerably. Therefore, we need some other method to protect us against document updates to the same document. And that technique is called optimistic concurrency control. To avoid conflicts, Solar supports optimistic concurrency control using a special version tracking field named underscore version underscore. Solar schema includes the version field by default, and this field is automatically added to each index document. For example, our tweet document has a unique version number assigned to it, and which was automatically generated. When we want to make an update request, we should include the current version in the body of the request. This way, when Solar processes the update, it will compare the version value in the request with the latest version of the document, pulled from either the index or the transaction log. If they match, Solar applies the update, but if they don't, the update request fails and an error is returned to the user to let him know that the document was already updated by another user in the meantime. Then, the client application can handle the error response, which normally is a HTTP 409 conflict error code, and try again later. This approach is called optimistic because it assumes that the most updates will work on the initial attempt and the conflicts are rare. Let's see how that works. First question is, how do we get the current version of a document in order to include it in the update request? One technique is to use the real-time get request. For instance, to get the version field for our example document with ID2, we would send an HTTP GET request like this. Please note that here we use the GET request handler. Afterward, we should include this version in our update request and make the call as we normally do. However, I want first to make a request with some other random value to see what happens. Code 409 Conflict In real life, the client application who receives this code should try again the call. Now, let's do the update with the correct last version. Code 0 Success Alternatively to this method, Clients can include an optional version true parameter when they add a document to the index. This request parameter indicates that the new version of the documents being added should be included in the response. This allows clients to immediately know what's the current version of every document added without needing to make a redundant GET request. However, the disadvantage is that we should store this version somewhere else. 